there, my name is Jaime and over the next minute I'll be sharing with you some of the main aspects of the debates. What is a debate? Debate is a verbal contest in which two opposing teams make speeches to support their own argument and knock down the opposing team's arguments. So it's basically a for and against argument. You have to debate why your position is correct and why your opponent is wrong. The team that makes the best case for its side wins the debate. Debates are very well structured and organized. They follow four different parts. Opening statements, including an introduction to the topic, rebuttals, reframing the opponent's arguments. There's also a question and answer section, checking out the other team's evidence, and there's also a closing statement part related to the conclusion of the topic. What are some of the goals of the debate? Why the debate is so important? Debating helps ESL students develop important skills. First of all, it's important for critical thinking. The students present claims and find findings they sequence ideas logically and they use pertinent description, facts and details to accentuate main ideas or themes. Uh, students will also develop a sense of ownership of different topics. There is a wide range of topics covered when it comes to the debate, such as shopping and consumerism, health, lifestyle, crime law, education, mm -hmm. so students have to be ready because they can happen to talk about any type of topic. Uh, it's also a suitable way to practice uh, different type of ESL skills such as listening, writing and speaking. Uh, debates also involve teamwork and partnership skills because they pose questions that connect the ideas of several speakers and they have to respond to others to others questions and comments with relevant observations and ideas this encourages students to be creative students will adapt their speech to a variety of context and task they'll have to use different type of languages they'll have to be formal or colloquial among some other cases. And at the same time, debates are so much fun, okay? It's another way of entertainment at schools. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you some kind of advice, some kind of tips, but uh, remember this, nothing that I'm showing you here hasn't been said by your teachers previously, okay? So first of all, if you're going to participate on a debate, I recommend you to do some previous research, facts, statistics, and sources. You want to be really prepared. Secondly, emphasize your points and include overviews, okay? Make sure that if you're talking about the uh, environment, uh, you need the uh, type of vocabulary, the type of vocabulary. Uh, you need a little bit, for instance, about uh, climate change, uh, global warming. Make sure you support your ideas accurately. At the same time, use simple sentences, be concise and prioritize your ideas. Uh, sometimes we tend to talk a lot, we want to explain a lot of ideas and sometimes uh, we can be misunderstood. So I recommend you to use simple sentences, okay, and that, you're, and that you are really careful with the language you use. Mm -hmm. Reframe your opponent's arguments, okay, be aggressive 
when it comes to checking out your opponent's ideas. So be confident, okay, about it. Make sure you stand up and uh, you support your ideas from the very beginning to the end. Show some examples, but do not overuse them. This means every time that you talk, do not show different examples, okay, that you have previously heard or you, you have previously experienced. It can be too tiring. Once is okay, too many times can be tedious. Interrupt your opponent, but do not be disrespectful, okay? Make sure you challenge your opponent's ideas and that you keep your positive thinking with you. Rudeness is not well seen on debates. So I'm going to finish this first part uh, showing you a small piece of debate. Uh, this debate is about elections in America and then we'll move on to the second part. sort of counterintuitive because when you have a political system that's like functionally divided into two parties, that's like a division. I'm not sure like what we're supposed to do along the lines of like making Republicans and Democrats agree. That's just like not really a thing. I think what we need to be talking about is like the action that's been taken due to this divisiveness. And I think something I don't know if you mentioned the rhetoric, um, but like this like trickle down or like spillover sort of justice effect that I know you're talking about too. But, North Korea statements. Mm -hmm. I think that like we definitely need to start with the rhetoric, and this is sort of like an indictment of the rhetoric that comes directly from the office. I'll admit that like when you have these tweets and this like like purely like fury like anger based uh, like campaigning, I think that definitely emboldens people to act upon like their uh, their feelings, and it's definitely like I know you're talking about. How other people in other countries that like, don't understand how this happened, and it definitely like reveals the heart of America, like how many people just feel left out of the of the picture. And I think that's something that Trump did a good job of was like really appealing to the people who are left out now. Versus like Hillary had this idea of like what she wanted America to be, and that's simply not what it is. And so I think we really need to start with like how we talk about these issues. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, a lot of the divisions uh, came from the campaign, and then I think uh, in the near future we're going to see a lot of that kind of start to go away, I hope at least, because, I mean, that was probably the most divisive campaign we've seen in a very long time. And so I think the further we get away from it, the better everyone is going to come together in the future. That's what I think, personally, but we'll see. This is where I'm at. Well, let's remember this. Cannot cover what's not already there, right? So pull up the rug and some ad can that they want to cover. So obviously, whatever tensions the country is feeling, those tensions were there before Trump, before Clinton. Nobody was talking about them, right? We all felt this stuff before. Um, and hopefully, this won't be the last of our conversation with you guys. Okay, with this one. So let's make this a regular thing, you know, and uh, maybe anybody else who wants to be involved. But this is proof that you can remain civil. Now, when the cameras go off, we might fight. But right now, everything's cool by uh, Thank you guys for your time. I focus on the structure on this section. How do we build our speech? Uh, we need to think through the format. What do we want us to include? We definitely want to include signposting language. We need to brainstorm some ideas. And how do we connect these ideas through linking words? Signposting language is essential on debates. Why? Because it outlines the main arguments of the uh, topic. How do we want us to lead these arguments? We need to start with an introduction, a body paragraph, and a conclusion. Once again, uh, most of you are familiar with these adverbs and these linking words, so this is a friendly reminder that you can use most of these words on 
different occasions. We have some related to compare and contrasting ideas, while alternatively we have some others that uh, mean adding. Again, furthermore, in addition, there are some others that emphasize something, others gives example. The main body of a debate must include an introduction with a new idea. It also has to develop a new idea. And I believe some of these lines here, some of these giving opinion on phrases are really helpful in order to uh, support and scaffold an idea on a debate. As we keep on uh, discussing on a debate, it's also good to show both sides of the topic. Do not only focus on one side, but please make sure that you also include the other side, even if you totally disagree with it. Uh, make sure you highlight the conclusion of your ideas as you finish off your topic. Same thing you do when you finish off your writings. Okay, let's get into the next part. Let's get into some practice. So with your partner, come up with a strong reason for each of the following resolutions. Take a minute to look at these four points. These can be seen on any type of debate topics. Online shopping is better than regular shopping. Should professional athletes earn as much money as they do? Should the wealthiest company donate mandatory? Love is more important than money. Some of the reasons, okay, let's go over a simple example. Let's get into this. The smoking should be banned from public places because A, it is bad, B, it gives people bad health and makes their yellow teeth, or C, secondhand smoke is harmful for non-smokers. As we can see these three options, I would analyze them as poor and pretty weak number A. It is bad. What do you mean by bad? Could you please define bad? Could you support this argument? B. It gives people bad health and makes their yellow teeth. Well, that sounds okay. Pretty average. Okay, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's not convincing. But I guess I'm missing a little bit more of action. And C, secondhand smoke is harmful for non smokers. I believe this is a strong argument, okay? Could you please notice the uh, differences between C with A and B? So, in order to empower your ideas, let's identify some of the causes to strong your arguments. In stating your position, the speaker must also support his or her ideas with different reasons. For instance, I believe that smoking should be banned in public spaces because secondhand smoke is harmful for non-smokers. Okay, here we go with um, a strong argument. Mm -hmm. We are supporting our initial idea. We can also focus on our own experience or what you have heard. It's totally legitimate. Breathing secondhand smoke in public space is unpleasant. I had to leave bars because my eyes stung badly and I coughed a lot. Uh, that's also solid for me, very applicable. 
We can also use common sense. We can also use the logic. Smoking causes cancer and many other serious diseases. That's a strong argument too. Some other examples are based on expert opinions, research, different type of studies and statistics. According to the National Health uh, Security, 65% of patients pass away because of serious diseases related to secondhand smoke. Uh, these are some of the strongest forms when it comes to argue and reframe somebody, especially because we are based on somebody else, on expert opinions. Uh, it's pretty much the same, uh, it's very similar to those other arguments based on logic and moral, on account of rebuttal. Banning smoking in workplaces will increase considerably adult addiction. Okay, it's a very pretty straightforward idea, which is also pretty solid when it comes to reframe somebody's arguments. How does the speaker can side either on one side or the other? Mind your language. It is very important. These are some ideas, some tips that I'm giving you. When we want to argue, uh, we need to check our grammar. Uh, for me, conditionals, the Saxon genitive, preposition, and models are some of the highlights and some of those grammar points you should consider upon starting a debate. You want to use a great variety of adjectives, good, bad, beautiful, fine, well, they are okay uh, at some point, at a certain point, but not a great option when you are discussing for about four, five, six, seven minutes, okay? You need synonyms. Make sure you include and you have a good use of vocabulary. There to use the passive voice, okay? Combine both active and passive. It is believed that certain people like smoking. It is known that online shopping is trendy, is more fashion than regular shopping. And do not say what you do not know in English. I know we have uh, a lot of ideas. We tend to subordinate and use subordination in different languages. But let's stick to simple sentences, okay? The more simple uh, and the better express, the better understanding for the audience. I'm going to recommend you some websites that can be very helpful for your practice on debates. Uh, the first one, this is one of my favorites, it's called Kialo, okay? As you can see the um, website, it is a really highly interactive web. Uh, I created this topic, uh, minimum wages discussion, okay? So as you can see here, I post a topic, the minimum wage should be 15 euros per hour. Um, as you can create an account to just open the pros and cons. Uh, these are some of the ideas, uh, pros, uh, some disadvantages, how about those employees working part time, uh, very easy to work. Uh, let's say, let, let's add another con related to minimum wages, uh, something like trade unions need to reach an agreement with companies. Uh, not that easy. Okay, something, something simple. Right, you can see here we have four different cons. Uh, to advantages and if, if you click here you can see that you can also 
keep branching, okay? An opening discussion, 15 hour, is a way to dignify the employee's jobs. Uh, so we have an advantage and disadvantages. And this works as a tree. It keeps, you know, moving and scrolling up and down. Uh, that is a little bit what I like. You know, you can see the uh, quotes. Uh, you can see the different ideas. You can report and support it. Uh, this is not a claim. Why do you believe uh, this? Uh, don't have enough feedback. Uh, no way to prove it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can also back to the uh, main topic. You can also um, click on and rate them. Everybody should defend the right to get paid a minimum at least, a uh, minimum wage at least. Well, uh, I can give you a medium. Okay, created an impact somehow, but there's there are better um, points. Okay, the better support here. It is not fair. Companies should be free to pay wherever they consider. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a little bit low. You can revoke your boat. It's a little bit poor week, to my understanding. Uh, well, anyway, uh, you can uh, increase this as much as you want. Okay, and uh, you can see, you can come up here and see the um, discussion how big it is how it is uh, developing which I like it you know and, and what about this one this is a pretty for one how about those in produce it's a high it's, it's a this one has a big impact mm -hmm. blah 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 then um, how how do you want to share this type of discussion okay that you can amplify and extend as much as you want you can go to share and you can invite to somebody good the discussion will eventually get in bid and we and you you are capable of inviting somebody okay so this is uh kialo a very useful tool a very good way to practice. I want to show you also pros and cons. Okay, let's scroll down the website. Uh, let's see. I want to talk about um, police body cameras, for instance. Okay, I'll go here. I want to know a little bit, a little bit more about this. I want to do some research, and there are top three pros and cons. Okay, let's see. Uh, Introduction about the uh, topic and then shift police offices where body cameras have the pro one, con one, two, two, three prongs and three cons. Mm -hmm. And what I like here is that you can see the um, footnotes, the different type of footnotes here that you can check. There are some comments. It's pretty easy to handle. Uh, there are also some ideas. You can email and print them and uh, use them. Uh, you can check on the bibliography and uh, you will have to cite some of these uh, articles if you want to use them. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much procon.org. Uh, the third website that I want to introduce is debate.org. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit more tricky, okay, as uh, everything is less organized than the others. There are different type of issues, controversial topics. Um, everybody pretty much can log in and sign here. So basically, you just want to go to debates. It works as a forum. Uh, there's some ideas um, censor as you can challenge. Uh, you can vote for some idea. Mike Pompey is Trump's kind of guy. Uh, language is more colloquial here. 
uh, there's a post voting there's debating too and this side of the website uh, you have all the type of um, all the type of topics okay TPA visionary top five album of the decade basically um, you can talk about any type of topic okay anything and it's not as as much a debate as we think you know Kialo and Procon are more professional uh, debate is more about talking any type of thing okay and sometimes the uh, topics are not as serious as the, the previous ones Billy Ellis against Ariana Grande rap battle um, there's some other big issues here most of them related to American society uh, this is something of society here you can log in uh, you can challenge ideas you can reframe some of these arguments and uh, they're very good ideas they're very good topics okay hate crime rapist culture the discourse women are superior to men yeah so basically uh, these three websites uh, are very very helpful